Oysters are filter feeders. Why are we doing this? One of the reasons is because oysters are filter feeders. What's what's the uh, the historic level of the oyster these days? Does anybody know? One percent. One percent. Is he right? One percent. How many people agree with that? One <laughs> percent between one and two percent. That means that 99% of the oysters in the bay are gone. They're not here any longer. Why? Can I hear you? This guy, you want to do it? You can. <laughs> yeah, because, because of over harvesting and, and two different diseases that de decimated the population uh, and loss of habitat. Uh, oysters are filter feeders. One adult oyster can filter 50 gallons of water a day. We're at a million bushels, but you know, a couple years ago it was like 25,000 bushels. So the oyster is slowly coming back, and that's that's huge. And if we can help. Uh, increase that number by planting oysters you know hopefully they'll be able to uh, regenerate reproduce and we'll get to the tipping point where they'll they'll be self-sustaining that's why we're here oysters are a big economic engine for the bay uh, oyster reefs, reefs create habitat for other fish and critters when you pull these things out of the water when you when you come down here to clean them you're gonna find all kinds of cool little things in the oysters themselves mud crabs and polychaetes and, and all kinds of stuff. That's what you do, you oh, blow them down. Oh, the crab, you mean? Yeah, the crab. Yeah, he would, he'd like to be in the water. Garrett, you happy? Yeah. Oh, it's like, what? It's like, man, you're down with the So you come down and once a month you just scrub all that stuff off. Okay. Yeah. It gets to be really cool when you do it in February. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs>